Good readings and welcome, fellow commanders, to another episode of Let's Play Nexus, the Jupiter Incident. Right, let's head home. My god, what the hell is that? It appears to be a physical body similar to the one we saw at the Kasaki Beta. It is a transportation medium for the aliens. So it's a spaceship. How many of those... mechanoids can it carry? I do not know. Maybe tens of thousands. Maybe just one. Where are they now? I do not detect their presence up here. They are probably on Earth, within the computer systems and the Internet. They did not hide their transport behind the moon without purpose. What is the status of our space stations and ships? They are almost certainly under mechanoid control. We have not detected a single radio transmission. I fear all the crews were killed just like those at the Shukenja bases. I suspect that Admiral Anderson scouts also ran into the cleanup. On Earth, however, everything seems to be normal. We've been monitoring the news. There's not a single word about the events up here. It is as if they have not even realized that everyone is dead. I don't understand. If they've killed everyone up here, why are they hiding from the people of Earth? What are they doing down there? To obtain information about this, I will have to travel to Earth itself. There is an operative relay station here. I can reach the headquarters of my old company using one of its encoded channels. From there, I can travel anywhere on Earth. I only need ten minutes. Then, I will return. We have to find out what's going on. Go and take a look around, Angel. The relay station needs to remain intact so that I can return. Take good care of it, Captain. While you're waiting, do not approach the Black Moon, and under no circumstances, open fire on the Mechanoids. Dr. Veltman, what are your thoughts on Angel? Her personality is very unusual. Do you think we can trust her? I have conducted many conversations with her. The influences of a traditional Oriental upbringing, which encourages a secondary, subservient role for women, can be felt in her. But she has a superior and independent side to her character. She's prepared to seize the initiative on occasions, and sometimes she displays a kind of... How should I put this? A sort of mild arrogance. <laughs> she has, without a doubt, a highly developed psyche. Her reactions are much faster and far more sophisticated than one would expect from an AI. However, this is all speculation based upon some rather nebulous theories. You didn't answer my question, Dr. Veltman. Can we trust her? I fear we have no other choice. In our current predicament, she is the only hope we have. It is possible that she is concealing something. AIs are just as capable as humans of hiding their true motivations when it proves expedient. Your suspicions should be tempered by the fact that she has broken corporate loyalty by joining us, and, as yet, she has done nothing but assist us. However risky it may be, my view is that we must trust her until she gives us reason to feel otherwise. I see. Another question. Red alert! Earth ships are approaching. They're headed towards the relay station. Aye, aye, sir. And, sir, here is the whiskers. The Noah's Lost Scout? Hail them. They're not responding, sir. They're targeting us. The mechanoids have got them. We have no choice but to fight them. They must have discovered Angel, and they're trying to stop her coming back. We must stop them, Captain. Right then. Let's close in quick. They are shooting uh, plenty of stuff out there. Captain, the relay station has been destroyed. Angel cannot come back. What was that? What the hell is the razor shooting at us with? The energy tracers indicate a traditional laser cannon, but it has been charged far beyond standard safety thresholds. The mechanoids must have overridden the ship's failsafes. It won't cope with the strain for much longer. Right. Sir, Fire all the weapons. blinking lights of the razor appear to be blinking in a pattern. Missile. Target ship is being evacuated. It's an SOS signal. 
someone on board must still be alive. Sir, should we deploy... Well, the Magellan is already down. Uh, and the Razor is almost dead, so... Right, let's first focus on Understood. killing you. Aye, aye, sir. And... It might be a trap. That's probably a little bit less intimidating. Let's Understood. give the fear the whiskers yeah, something yeah. else to shoot at. Warning. Engine disabled. Warning. Our squadrons are under attack. Commandos dispatched. The ultimate oh, defense systems are blocking our way! Clearing the path! Corpses everywhere! Killed by decompression! Back. Our commandos are returning. Commandos have returned. Thank you, sir. I thought I was gonna die in there. I'm glad we found you. What happened? Don't know, sir. The mainframe was infected by some kind of battle virus or something. It released the airlocks. I was on spooge duty on one of the sealed storage bays. That's how I survived. The only system I could access was the marker lights. The virus locked out everything else. Take it down. All right, no more shooting. We need to find another radio transmitter and fast. I said, stop shooting. Sir, we're picking up a radio transmission. The quality is very poor, but I think it's a distress signal. I'll pipe it through the speakers. I'm sorry. I repeat, this is the not bad Assistance. North Star Base, this is the cruiser Angel Wing. We can hear you. Thank God. Please help us. We're stuck here on the station. Our mainframe has been infected. We haven't been able to reach anyone. It's like the whole world has gone deaf. Don't panic, North Star. We'll get you to safety. Before we do, we need a high-performance radio transmitter. Do you have one on the base? 
Of course we do, but it's connected to the computer network. We were using it to monitor signals from the Black Moon. If we switch it back on, they'll send another virus into our system. Don't worry about that. You'll be long gone by then. I'll transmit the radio frequency and the target. Aim the dish towards Earth. We're awaiting an important message. The radio has been calibrated. We can enable it via remote control. With the padding on the shuttle. It doesn't look like we can scan. Fine. Guess we don't need any more theory about humans. Let's just move towards the North Star. Thank you, sir. We're extremely grateful. The last few days have been a waking nightmare. I thought we were all going to die. Captain, we have two minutes left before Angel returns. Shall we open the channel? I strongly advise against it. The viruses entering the system will be very aggressive. Where are they coming from? You mentioned the Black Moon. We don't know much more about it. It appeared behind our moon a few weeks ago. It, it glowed at first, but the light soon faded. Calculating its mass proved impossible, but it didn't alter the moon's orbit or tidal variances on Earth, so the mass must be significantly less than one would expect from a heavenly body of that size. Did you try to establish contact with it? Yes. That was when we received the virus that knocked out the majority of our systems. Fortunately, it infected an ancillary network first, so we had time to disable everything else and prevent it from spreading. Captain, the time has come. Shall we open the channel? Do it. Radio enabled. We're not picking up any signals. Sir, a mechanoid is approaching. It's huge. It is 34 kilometers away and closing on us fast. Very fast. Come on, Angel. She should already be here. Ten minutes have passed. There's no sign of her. Has she been captured? Did she lie to us? Oh, have a little faith, Captain. Although that mechanoid is getting close. Sir, the mechanoid is almost upon us! Oh my god! We can't wait any longer. We must retreat. Don't touch a thing. Don't even move. Let me handle them. Well, that's inspiring confidence. They're scanning us. Excuse me for being so late. I was held up. We can go now. We could not defend the relay station, but then you never can. <laughs> the news from the rescued scientists and Angel tells of a catastrophe of, a catastrophe of galactic proportions. Earth's computer systems have been invaded by an extremely high level of artificial intelligence of alien origin, which she has started referring to as the entity. Well, creative there. It destroyed everyone and everything on our space stations and spaceships, leaving few survivors. 
Its goals are unknown, but we can speculate it is aiming for total control of humankind. Its motivation remains unknown, as does the methods it uses for control of the population. The black planet behind the moon has been identified as the carrier of the entity. The inarconic life forms called mechanoids are its servants. Angel believes they do not have their own will. They are merely tools. Right. We gain a medal, the silver life-saving medal. For distinguished service and devotion to duty as the commanding officer aboard the Angel Wing Cruiser on July 14, 2012, 2112, during a very important and dangerous reconnaissance mission in Earth sector, Captain Cromwell answered distress calls from the Razor and the North Star Station. And despite the direct threat posed by enemy fire and the alien entity, he managed to bring 16 survivors on board. His selfless and determined efforts were in keeping with the proudest traditions of the NOAA Defense Forces. Cool. The information you've brought back is all very interesting, Captain, but we cannot afford to sit here idle while a decision is reached on how to proceed. During your absence, I tracked the Raptor Pirates through the wormhole to their lair. Left to their own devices, they could cause us untold problems. The Vardrags do not tolerate renegades. We have received an order to destroy the Raptors' headquarters. The majority of our fleet is busy in the Gorg Wars, and Central Command believes that we're gonna need every ship we can muster if we're to triumph against the pirates. It is with considerable reluctance that I am formally requesting your assistance. Your job will be to provide cover for the battleships Athens and Rome during the raid. The Raptors have hidden themselves in a wreckage field amongst the wrecks of Vardrag and Gorg ships. The battleships are gonna destroy the base. Your only task will be to keep the pirate ships and fighters busy with the help of our destroyers. Believe me, I wouldn't be asking you if there were anyone else available for this mission. Let's hope you learnt enough from your last brush with the Raptors to stay in one piece. Um, you know, I so can't wait until you die. I mean, he's gonna die, right? I don't remember actually, so it's going to be, we're gonna be surprised there. I mean, uh, the voice acting in this game is okay, it has a unique quality that I can appreciate and at the same time cringe enormously at. I mean, when we were first contacted by uh, Noah Base, or uh, anyway, that the woman I was talking. She has an inflection in her accent that it is instantly nails on the chalkboard for me because it sounds so very much like a Dutch person who does not understand how to speak English, which is incredibly annoying to me. <sighs> now, I don't know uh, who she is, uh, who her voice actor is, so I don't know if she's actually Dutch. Or even if she is actually just pretending to be like that. Oh, but please don't. Don't ever do that. Alright, no levels up. We have 10 resource points, so let's see. The lair shield better than what we have? It is better. So... Uh, we should probably replace that. Let's see, is there anything else? Mm. You know, the Sliver Gatling gun is still probably better than what we currently have. We have the Overload Energy Bomb. And the Diffuse Missile. I'd love to be able to use them, but I'm not sure that's a good idea. So now we have a secondary fire cloud engine. 
which we don't need at the moment, I think. Engine-wise, we still have the same stuff. Nothing new there. I'll just finish this. All right, let's just at least improve our shield with the Lair Shield. Which I uh, double check, it is indeed still better. And we don't have any other gear we really need. I'm pretty sure none of this matters much. Like I said, I don't remember this mission, so... It'll be a surprise for me what happens. Uh, we don't have room for more fighters, we don't have any other fighters. I don't think our resources carry over, but I might be misremembering that. Alright, so we have the lair shields. And we can't install this because we don't have room, or this doesn't fit in our ships. Alright, let's just confirm this. And I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.